Namaste, I'm Julie, welcome to my channel, to Yourself Yoga for Menopause and today we're talking all about getting started and this is the question I get asked the most. So if you're thinking you can't do yoga, maybe you're not flexible enough, maybe you think you're not the right shape or you're too old, you're never too old right i'm going to be sharing five tips that will help you create a home practice that is sustainable that you enjoy that doesn't take up too much time and that gets results that helps your menopause symptoms so let's dive in So tip number one when it comes to getting started with menopause yoga is you need basic equipment. Thankfully yoga is quite minimalist, it doesn't need a lot, but nonetheless there are a few things that you need to pay attention to. Number one is a mat. You need a yoga mat for your own safety and also to help you get the most from the poses. But that needn't be expensive. If you're just starting out, buy an inexpensive mat from Amazon. I think my first mat cost me $10 and I had it for years and it saw me through my teacher training and I actually still have it, can't part with it. So look for something quite basic to get you started. And then in terms of props, you don't actually need props to begin with, you can get by. In menopause yoga, we do use quite a lot of props, but I always offer an alternative. For example, yoga blocks, super helpful, but you can use firm cushions. Yoga bolster, brilliant for certain types of yoga, which we practice in menopause yoga, but you can use a firm pillow, right? A yoga strap, brilliant right for certain poses but you can use a soft belt from a dressing gown or something so there's lots of modification substitutes you can make but if you have a look on Amazon you might be able to find a bundle which contains a mat and a strap and a block or two blocks so check that out before you purchase the mat. But those are the yoga essentials that you need in terms of equipment. You also need to think clothing, right? Again, you don't need yoga gear. You can wear anything that's loose, that's comfortable, that enables you to reach and move and stretch. It could even be your pajamas, just saying. <music> So tip number two when it comes to getting started uh, with yoga is to find the right content, right? Starting public yoga classes can be daunting when you're just starting practicing yoga. Um, I started practicing at home because I didn't have the confidence to join a public class and maybe that's your start point too. So um, the good news is there's tons of free yoga available on the internet and in my channel I have a free five-day yoga challenge for beginners which is centered around menopause symptoms. Each one is 10 to 15 minutes long so it gives you a flavor of what menopause yoga is all about and helps get you started. So please check that out. But when it comes to other yoga, it may not be so suitable for you. Menopause yoga is designed mainly for beginners and comprises lots of different styles. And I think that's the danger when you're just choosing at random anything that you see on the internet, it might not suit you and your body. Menopause yoga is designed for you and your body at this stage of life, whatever stage you are in at menopause. So choose wisely. And within menopause yoga, there are different styles which can be tailored towards your symptoms. So on the day where you have more, more energy, you can practice something that flows and that gets the heart rate going. But on the days where you haven't slept and you're just on your knees, you practice a really gentle restorative sequence to boost your energy levels. You get where I'm going? So choose wisely and word of advice, don't let your first session be your last session. If that were the case, I wouldn't be talking to you now, right? Because you might not enjoy it. You might find it a struggle. It may be that you chose the wrong class. So give it a chance. 
So check out my free five day challenge. Get started with it, the best way to do it. And one more thing, when you get your confidence going, you can then join an online membership if you want to continue practicing online. My online membership, My Menopause Yoga Journey, has over 400 videos, all suitable for menopause symptoms. And you can try that out with a seven day free trial. Or go back to the public class, right? Try it, give it a go, that might suit you better. Or in an ideal world, a combination of both. So number three is keep it short, keep it consistent, right? Let's talk about shortness. I think we're conditioned to believe that everything has to be super long, 10,000 steps, burning off all these calories, and one hour yoga classes are the norm in public classes. I don't have time to practice one hour yoga classes when you, you know, got to factor in the travel and so on. So online is great for that. And, and a lot of online, and especially my teachings, are short classes or sequences because they fit in with you and your day. Yoga has to fit in with your life and not the other way around. So short is best, again, because it's consistency. So if you have one hour per week, right? I advise you dividing it up into three 20 minute sequences spread out over the week. That will give your body more than a one hour class once a week because in menopause, our joints seize up. We can go to bed feeling great, wake up the following morning, completely different story. So that consistency will keep you on your toes. And remember, practice makes perfect right? You have, you don't start out running a marathon, keep doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it. The body has to open up. And if you're just starting, right, it's got a bit of a, an uphill climb, but bear with it. Honestly, I didn't start till I was 53 and it took me a while to get going, but then there was no stopping me. Number four, accountability. Now it could mean that you just say to your partner or your better half, um, I'm gonna be practicing my yoga every morning or so many mornings per week. Um, so they hold you accountable. Um, but the best way to do it is to join an online community. And in my membership, My Menopause uh, Yoga Journey, we have an online community that was really, really powerful, an amazing group of women who all support each other, who are all practicing yoga with me online, and they can all swap notes, share stories, and so on. And they're there to support each other, pick each other up, congratulate, even commiserate if someone's struggling. And that support is really, really uplifting. But it, I also have a free uh, community group outside of my membership, uh, my Facebook group. Check the link below and we'd love to see you in there. Come along, check it out. Lots of free tips, advice and information. So tip number five, follow a calendar. Super simple. Follow a calendar. Why? Because you're going to get better results. Here's why, right? Everything is laid out for you. You have the structure. Someone else has designed that calendar so you don't have to sit flicking through all the videos and wondering what to practice. Okay. And my calendars in my membership, my menopause yoga journey, they are all uh, created so that they build layer upon layer upon layer. They feature different styles of yoga. They feature different lengths of sequences to completely open up your body and help you help yourself with your symptoms. And here's the thing, 98% of my members who followed the first calendar within three weeks reported significant improvements in their symptoms in just three weeks. So a calendar will also take you out of your comfort zone. Left to our own devices, it's only human nature, right? We choose either what we like 
or we choose what we think we can do. We're not going to choose something that really challenges us. We don't want the effort and the hassle. So whereas a calendar like kind of pushes you that little bit more. So follow a calendar is my advice. My calendars are free in my membership. Everything all worked out for you. It's called a guided practice. Check out the link below and find out more about it. So there you have it. Those are my five tips for getting started with menopause yoga. Make sure you have the right equipment. Find yoga that's suitable for you and your body, the right content. Check out my free five day challenge for beginners, for menopause symptoms, give you a flavor of what menopause yoga is all about. Keep it short and consistent. That's will, that will win the race. And also join a community. I have a free Facebook group you're welcome to join. And lastly, follow a calendar. Honestly, it will take you so much further and really open up the joy of yoga. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Drop me a comment. Let me know which one resonated most. Or maybe I missed one. Maybe there's something else that you struggle with. Let me know. Give me a thumbs up. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel. Lots more videos coming your way. And don't forget to check out my free five-day challenge in the link below. Namaste.